Hi, this is Brant from tradeguild.blogspot.com and it is still October, actually it's October 7th, it's 2.30 in the morning. So, um, as I promised, we're going to look at this um, this screen that I use for um, entries and you can also use it for uh, stops as well. So here it is. And basically what I have here is in yellow Actually, you know what? Let me zoom in a little bit here so you can see it clearer. Okay. In yellow, I have a 10-day moving average. Okay. And in blue, I have a 22-day moving average. And this red is actually a volume-weighted price average for 30 bars, or the last 30 days in, in this case. The 10-day um, moving average over here and I'm going to pull it up here, is an exponential moving average, and the 22-day is a simple moving average. Um, these are not hard and fast rules. Um, you know, it's not a perfect system, so you can take what you like and um, see, you know, if it works for you. Um, in the middle window, I have a cumulative, custom cumulative indicator, which is a proprietary function um, of Warden, I'm not sure if, uh, I'm sure other platforms have uh, something similar. And basically what I have here, I'm just going to show you the formula real quick. Okay, so this indicator works, uh, the up condition is that price is above its 10-day moving average, and the 20-day moving average is sloping up. It's basically greater than the sum of the last three days of the 20-day moving average. The down condition would be the opposite of that, and if neither condition is met, it will go sideways. I'm looking for a change in character and this indicator helps me see that and sometimes it actually will um, do that before the stock has really made any kind of a significant move. Uh, in yellow and red I have a 10 day and a 20 day moving average respectively and those are both just simple moving averages and in the bottom window I have a RSI with a 14 period and I also have a MACD in this window um, but it's invisible and I just use that because it helps me plot this um, this zero line a little bit more clearly um, you can use MACD with this too you can you know like I said make it your own uh, take what you want and leave the rest so uh, the way I use this system is I look for crossovers it's basically a, a crossover system and you know there's all kinds of crossover systems out there so basically what needs to happen is three things one I need to have a crossover of this yellow moving average above the blue. So it's the shorter moving average crossing over the longer moving average. And number two, this custom cumulative indicator in blue needs to cross over uh, at least the yellow uh, moving average. And uh, I just, some I, you don't even really need the red. I use it because sometimes you'll see a little change in character in the moving average before you actually get a crossover. So uh, the yellow might cross over the red before this blue crosses over them. So it, it just helps you um, get a heads up. So that's what we look for, a crossover there, a crossover up here. And then, Mac, uh, I'm sorry, RSI has to be above the zero line for a buy. And pretty much you could reverse the system for uh, shorts and say you want the uh, shorter moving average to cross under the longer one, the custom cumulative to cross under its moving averages and RSI to be down here below that uh, zero line. So let's um, see how this works. Basically what I like to do is find stocks that trend fairly well um, when you get into a trading range or a um, consolidation, no moving average system works very well because you get a lot of uh, just whipsaws. You get uh, crossovers all the time. Uh, this system, because it has um, other conditions, helps to eliminate a lot of those whipsaws. And it also you know, is showing uh, positive momentum in the stock, whether it be through more closes up than down or whether it be um, RSI moving above that zero line. So like I said, we're, we're gonna take a look at a few stocks and uh, see how it works.
First up, I'm going to show you uh, a stock that's been on our blog a few times, which is uh, BDG uh, dash dash A for Warden, and this is Bandag Inc. And um, I'm going to uh, scroll back. It's kind of one of the neat features of Telechart. So here we are in August, and this is when the system really works best, I think. I've noticed when you get a stock that's trending down like this one, and look how, you know, well, this um, these moving averages and and this indicator over here have held you in the trade. Now, sometimes what I like to do is use this volume weighted um, average price for two things: one, a change of character. So, basically, you know, at any particular point in time, over here at twenty nine fifty. Uh, the, the previous 30 bars back, their average cost, volume weighted, is at 29.50. So basically, as long as price is below that level, these people are at a loss. And it would, um, you know, hint at continued selling as people, you know, move out of a losing position. Now, when this indicator, uh, when price crosses the indicator, that means um, the price is actually at a profit for most of the people who have bought in the last 30 days or 30 bars. And like I said, trending stocks that are coming down and have a change in character seem to be the best ones to use with this system. Um, and here's what I liked about BDGA. We saw a change in character. Uh, in one manner, uh, we see a positive bias to MACD as it comes into this bottom in here and we start to see uh, volume picking up in here okay and at the same time we're crossing above that volume weighted moving average and if we look at the industry that um, it's a uh, rubber and plastics that BDGA is in we can see that the industry has already started making um, higher highs and higher lows. So this qualifies as a laggard and this volume profile and also the very positive profile in money stream and BOP and, and TSV over here all say that we like BDGA and it looks it looks good and it's an industry laggard like I was describing in the last video. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to this system and basically what we're going to look for to enter is a crossover. Now, for my initial stop, I'm going to use this level as my initial stop. Once the, the, the stock gets trending, then we'll, we'll change that. But for now, that's what it is. So here, I'm going to zoom in, and we're going to look for that yellow to cross above. Now, we've already got the crossover here in the cumulative indicator. We have the crossover above the zero line in RSI, <clears throat> and you can see the yellow uh, moving average is just about ready to cross over the blue, and there it is. So immediately, that's a buy right here at 29.62 at the closing price, or uh, you know wherever you like to buy. I, I like to buy towards the close, and we just let that stock work. So here's what's going on. Look at it. Look at it go. So we bought at 29.62. We're already at a profit up to 32.72. Now at this point, the stock is trending. So we want to, and you can see how um, these indicators now are, are in gear, and RSI has got a nice positive bias to it. So what we want to do is switch over to a stop system. Now you can use um, this volume weighted moving average as a, as a stop. Sometimes it works out great. Sometimes um, you know it's it's tracking real close to price, and I like how that works. I have a stop channel that I wrote and. Um, it's described in the Warden Report of May 23rd, and here's what it looks like. So basically what I would do on the stop channel is um, a penetration of the lower line uh, stops us out. And actually I'm getting ready to run out of time here, and I've got a couple other stocks I want to show you. So I'm going to come back with uh, one more video, okay?